hi everyone how are you all doing today hope you're having a fantastic day it's super hot here like really hot so hence I know some of you have never seen my hair like this so do you know what it is so hot and I thought no I'm not gonna wear any extensions and wig and weaves or anything like that so I thought a little chop so I did a little chop of my hair and I thought I'll just let it breathe so I thought oh, I can't be asked but I did make an effort to put a bit the ball do you like it yeah so it's my daughter's <laughs> so I just took from one of my girls I thought just a little something because I thought it feels a bit weird my hair and you won't believe this my son actually when I came out of the bath and my hair was like that I just reached come down my son was going oh mommy you look like a lie <laughs> sorry <laughs> that made me laugh quite a lot you hear so much you know like I think because they are they are not so used to seeing my afro out in food you know anyway so <laughs> that's that so i meant to shoot the harrods video when i went to harrods but oh my gosh for whatever reason i never got to it i got so busy for those that don't know i do work and i'm a mummy of three plus a husband running a home so combine all those things and shooting videos sometimes i must admit it gets a bit much I find myself so overwhelmed, there's so much to do, so much going on, maybe kids have got more than I anticipated they would going on, school parties etc. Anyway, here we are, so I thought I'm just going to do, yeah I'll do the things I did buy and maybe a few other bits as well along the way. Anyway, so let's get right into it. Oh yeah, do not forget to give me a like, subscribe, that would really help me out because I'm trying to grow my numbers as you can see it's not much on there so any new subscribers will be much appreciated support your girl thank you so much so let's get into it where shall I start okay so when I went to Harrods I think everyone saw I went to the Chanel counter I wanted to buy a purse but do you know what I looked at these pieces, they were <laughs> this size, like Richie is so small and I've got similar pieces, similar size in Ted Baker which I bought for like what, £40 or £35, like the little coin wallets or whatever and these were <laughs> like £400 and honestly sitting there, I went there dead said I was going to get one but when I sat down I looked at this <laughs> little piece, I was like I'm not really going to spend £400 on this little coin purse, like it just didn't make sense, like I just could not justify it. So I told my husband, I said to him, do you know what, I would rather top up, buy a proper purse, maybe a purse on the chain or buy a bag. I think if I spent £1,000 or whatever on a bag, big enough that I could pop a few bits in I would be happy with that but I could not justify myself paying £400 plus for a small coin purse I could not justify or just a card you know purse I could not justify <laughs> that so anyway I didn't buy that the thing I wanted to buy the most but I went to the makeup counters as you do you know so I picked up a few if you are on my Instagram, my Facebook, there are, or you know me personally, you know how much I love lipsticks and colours for me, vibrant colours especially, are my thing. So I could not help myself. So first off, I popped on to the Dior counter and I picked up that one. So this is the Diorific. So that's that's the packaging how it comes. I opened it already because you know how it is. I didn't want to be fiddling with it. And that can you see that? So that is the Angie Blue as well. There. So that's why I picked up. And look at that. How stunning is that? I love the packaging. If you know me, you know I love God. I think I've said this before. I was actually gonna buy this one before I went to Harrods because I loved the packaging and actually 
I talked to one of the sales assistants in the store about this one and I was just asking about the different shapes they've got on their lipsticks because obviously if you know the Dior lipsticks they've all got different shapes and so she was explaining to me that they try to match everything their packaging like their perfumes, their lipsticks their, with their hot couture so all the things and this was inspired by the button which was on one of the jackets that uh, Christian Dior had designed so that's the shape of the button so they've done this and if you've seen the Dior Addict Pet film that came out not too long ago actually that too was uh, inspired by that button so let's have a look so there that is just super stunning oh my gosh how fabulous is that? Look at that. Can you see the detail? It's got the Dior on there. I love that detail about it. And that colour, if you know me, then you know I love that. Shall we just do a little swash there? Look at that. That is going to look awesome on me. I can't wait to try it. You know, one of those days on the day out. That perfect I love that and that was I think it was 30 pounds I, don't know if there is I think this was 31 pounds so there we are back in it goes moving on I bought a YSL as well so what do you do <laughs> never mind the gold packaging it wasn't really the theme but it just so happened that that was also in gold so just that and that too is a red it's a different sort of shade of red but that's how it comes so I love that and I got detail I've got a few YSL lipsticks I've got I think those that have been on my Facebook or Instagram you've seen the purple maroon ones I have from this so that was that so i got that as well i think this was 28 pounds if i'm not mistaken moving on i got a charlotte tilbury i think you saw me on the counter if you're on my facebook or my instagram or maybe from the video i can't remember but look at that because if you are on my facebook then you do look at that detail so it just does say Charlotte Tilbury on there. I love that. This packaging is a little bit similar to the Ted Baker's. There. I love the. You can just see there. The CT, obviously, I initials. There. So, yeah, that I love. Look at that. Let's swash that as well. Ooh, see that? They are sort of a red, but all different shades. So, this one's got sort of a ruby red. If you are on my Facebook, then you saw what happened to the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I bought last time. I think I featured it in a video. My youngest, I Richie, I think I, I think I was at work. I got back home and my husband is going, do not go in that room. And I'm going, what's happened? He's like, you're not going to like what you're going to say. I'm thinking, what's going on? At first I thought someone has broken my perfumes or something because I sometimes, most times I keep them in their boxes but sometimes when I've been using them I leave them out so I thought maybe someone has broken something and I walked in and richly on my dresser smeared in red like Richie, she's opened it, smeared it on herself. She was actually painting with it on her face, she was all red at this point because this happened for a few minutes before I got in she was all right every, and I looked at it, it was all smudged like I was just anyway it's on your lipstick I love my babies you know that but I was gutted I was like my manager's gone and I had not even used it so yeah anyway moving on I've done that I've done that I've done that oh yes and Next tab, I got this. Oh, that's the packaging. So, there. And if you know me in person, 
Oh, you are. Look at that. Can I just put it back and just look at that? So that's how it comes. And Richie, tip on it. There, comes out. How fabulous is that? If you know me, then you know how much I love a bit of Chanel. Look at that detail. Can you see that? How stunning is that? So this, look at that under Dior. They've got, obviously, look at them. They are almost, well, not quite, but they're quite similar shades, but the rouge, Coco Rouge is a little darker than that, but look at that. I just love that detail about them, the gold, the engraving on there. Very nice. And if you know me, then you know how much I love anything Chanel like Richie. I love Chanel so much. Let's give it a little swash as well. So let's do that. Look at that. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? And this is the Coco Rouge Shine. And this is the 104, number 104. Love that. Right, so next up I got this. So it's just the mug, obviously. I can't go in any place where they've got a mug counter and not go to the mug counter because where I live, <laughs> we don't have a mug store. So my nearest is like quite a few minutes drive away and other than that it's when i'm at the airport i buy the mark but i bought that so that's the packaging and that's the lipstick so that's the mark that's the heroin if you know me look at that dun, dun, dun. how gorgeous is that color well are you wondering But this is not the heroine, this is the Hellebel. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's that's sort of my trademark maroons or purplish. I love this color, so I love this. And I was just like, oh, let's try a different. I've got the other shades actually, uh, purple mark. Um, you know, it's behind, it's one of those there. Oh, look, that's how much. I love a bit of that purple maroonish color. So I've got that as well. That's the Ariana Grande one she did with. Oh, yeah, that's the YSL. And look at that. That's gorgeous. I love these colors the purple maroon, dark pink, or stuff like that. I love that. I love a bit of a nice, colorful lippy. As you can imagine moving on I got a YSL pencil so because it's been a while some of these have actually I opened them obviously and some have tried there look at that so it's a red one can you see it there oh, I love that I love that and if you get a good pencil sometimes you do get away with wearing just the pencil without a lipstick or a gloss sometimes i do go out if i get a nice pencil i appreciate that and the other thing i picked up was to there as a perfume lover collector i could not go into harrods and walk out without a perfume and to be honest when i went in I wanted to buy Coromandel Chanel Coromandel and we were there with my husband he tried something else and he was like oh, I like this one and I was thinking I'm not gonna stand here and talk about which one do you like best one which one do I like best so I was like fine I come shopping for something Chanel in my own time by myself because I did not want him thinking, why did you choose that? Why did you choose that? I'm just rumbling now. Anyway, yes, so whilst there as well, I picked up that 
home for a black orchid. Probably a few of you may have already tried it. I love it. It's been out a few years now. Let's spread out it. Oh. oh, this is such a sexy, strong perfume, and I love it. Black orchid. How stunning is that bottle? I love the um, Tom Ford bottles. They are super stunning. Just sleek, sexy, the black. If you know me, you know me. I love a bit of noir, you know, black. La Francaise, noir. Stunning, isn't it? This smells lovely. This was, oh, I can't even remember the price, but super stunning and this one is unisex actually so you could rock it the other half can rock it so yeah mm, that was that what else did i pick up there oh yes that i picked up obviously chanel so i picked up that little eyeshadow palette so the colors so you've got that so they've got a bit of chanel detail on them Look at that. Can you see that? The colours. Obviously, those colours, the purples, were Richie telling me, talking to me, by me, by me. And the, that's the details at the back. Love it. And also, oh yeah. I did pick up a powder as well because I, I picked up a powder earlier but the one I picked up before so it's got a compact mirror on the other side and that just that so you actually take that off got a brush on nice and you actually take that off and there you are voila your powder love it and at the back the details as well yeah, and oh yeah that was that was the box that it comes with mm -hmm. and lastly but not least I did pick up also some key charms for the bag so let's start off with that and these were 25 pounds I did feature this one before, but guess what? Dun, dun, dun. And the pink one. How gorgeous is that? How gorgeous is that? I love it. Stunning. Why would I leave that pink in the shop? I'm like, oh, I love this. I'm going to buy it. And guess what else? There was even that. The ball. It's Ted Baker after all. They have to have the ball, so I got that. So these are the three you've got. They are super stunning. Oh, I love them. It's only because obviously I go in and I'm like, I like this. And then I look again, I'm like, oh, look, they've got that too. I'm like, I gotta have it. And I love this. If you know me, then you know how much I love Ted Baker stuff. I just think a uh, super cute, super girly there. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? I think they're super gorgeous. And I love the rose detail as well. So, anyway. Oh, oh yeah. One more thing. That as well. I got that. Dolce and Gabbana. So you've got the compact mirror, obviously, and those are the colours. Actually, I bought this palette especially for these three colours, I think. Not sure I'll use much the green, but we'll see. I may have to mix with another colour to come up with a different colour, but I thought that's stunning. So that brings us to the end of the video and if you stuck around till the end thank you so much for watching i really appreciate that please don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video that would help out a lot thank you so much have a lovely day i'll see you in the next one
take care bye